In this short video, uh, I'm going to show you how you can interact with the Panopto interface when viewing a video that was shared to you by your instructor. When you get the link to a Panopto video from your instructor, you may be required to enter your Oklahoma City University username or password. Please take a moment, moment to do that to be able to access the video. Once you access the video, you'll get a screen that's very similar to what you see here. You'll, you should most likely see your professor's uh, webcam image here. There will be some things uh, down here. We're going to talk about these things in a minute, but contents, discussion, notes, and bookmarks. And then on the other side, you should see the screen that your faculty uh, or instructor has shared with you. So what I want to show you are a couple different ways that you can navigate in this space. It's things that you can do that might be able to help you as you're learning and, and doing your lessons from home. Number one, uh, you can view anything in the, uh, in the view space over here in the secondary screen, uh, and you can play the secondary screen at, any, at, a, at different speeds. For example, if we wanna watch the video that I shared earlier with some people, we just come down to the bottom and push the play button. That'll start the video, and if you need to back up, there's a backup button, and you can rewind the statement that was previously made. So you can push play, you can rewind. On the other side over here, you have an option to change the volume, and you also have the option to change the speed of the playback. So for those of you that are podcast listeners and listen to podcasts on maybe 1.5x or 2x, you can do the same thing here with the Panopto video. The other thing that you can do if, you're, if your instructor has set it up to record this way is to capture and view only the slides. So you'll notice right now that the screen is chosen and that shows the entire screen of my computer that I was using at the time. But I had also turned on this PowerPoint slides for my instructor. And by clicking the slides button, it takes you right to the PowerPoint slides that were shown and it should sync up with my video explanation over here of the slides that you see to the right. You can scroll through the different slides that were recorded on the bottom of the screen and you can click into one whenever you're ready. Most of these line up pretty good with the beginning of the slide, but if the instructor says something right at the very beginning, you may need to watch the previous slide to get all of the information that they're sharing with you. Other things that you can do as well um, is in this box down here where it's contents, discussion notes, bookmarks. For the contents, if your instructor has used a heading or a title on a slide, that will be displaced, displayed here. So there's some text that you can go with. Click the text of the slide that you want to view and the, and the PowerPoint will automatically fast forward uh, to that place. Panopto will automatically fast forward to that place. So if you're watching from the beginning of the Enter the Matrix PowerPoint presentation, and you're able to watch a couple slides and you get called away to do something and you miss part of the lesson, then you can go back to the last slide you remember seeing. In this case, maybe I remember seeing cult the culture slide. So you can click in the contents area and go right to the culture slide. Something else you can do as well is submit a question uh, or a comment. This post can be seen by everybody who views the video. So make sure that you're asking a question that's appropriate for the course and appropriate for the video that's being uh, viewed. You can also, if you've logged in uh, with your Oklahoma City University credentialing, you can also uh, leave some notes to yourself and this will only be visible to you. It will not be visible to anyone else. This is just a space for you. There is a make public link. So if you want to share what you've done and made it, make it public, you can click that to let it be viewable. Lastly, you can set bookmarks up to, for this particular presentation, and it allows you to uh, remember those key moments uh, that you want to try and remember as you're doing your learning. As always, if you have any questions or issues that arise from Panopto or from um, D2L or anything like that, you can email us at d2lhelp at okcu.edu.